one of the uh, physicians I work with, the uh, family practice physician, uh, was always concerned about starting an ACE or an ARB on some of our patients who would stop the lithium. Um, I finally was able to uh, explain that the ACEs and ARBs are well known to prevent renal damage from diabetes. And the reason we know they decrease renal damage is because they measured the change in renal function using lithium clearance. You need to have something that's exogenous to clear so that you can measure the effect on renal clearance. And by having lithium added, they could measure the clearance. Obviously, while we know there's an interaction, lithium is not toxic in the presence of an ACE or an ARB. You just have to adjust the dose. The ACE inhibitors will increase lithium concentrations 20 to 40 percent, so you need to adjust the lithium dose down to compensate, again anticipating the effect, not waiting for the person to get toxic on lithium before you make the adjustment. Calcium channel blockers have no effect on lithium, but you may need to adjust the dose downward because the calcium channel blockers are now able to alter the ratio of lithium in the plasma to the lithium that's intracellular, and that may require a dose adjustment there. The plasma concentration might need to be lower than you're expecting to get the same efficacy. The NSAID interactions with lithium are fairly well known now, and uh, the worst offender is probably my favorite of the NSAIDs, which is the ibuprofen. Um, and it has the uh, worst effect on lithium, about uh, 25 to 30 percent decrease in clearance, but that's when it's chronically used. So if somebody gets a single dose of ibuprofen, it's no big deal. If they're going to be on it for a while, routinely, then we're going to need to adjust the lithium dose down to compensate. If they stop it, we're going to have to go up as well. Uh, other drugs such as aspirin actually reduce lithium clearance. A drug like Solindac, another NSAID very commonly, uh, very rarely used rather, uh, has no effect on lithium, but the number of people in that study, one study, was four. If you're concerned about altering lithium clearance uh, with an NSAID, the safest drugs would probably be either using aspirin or using uh, Solindac, which have very low effects from the very small number of people that have been tested. Uh, the key here is to monitor the lithium and uh, remember that Aspirin used to be used at much higher doses than we use now for things like rheumatoid arthritis. And we used to dose people back a long time ago up to tinnitus because tinnitus is the first symptom of aspirin toxicity. If you get there, you've gone too far. And you can measure aspirin levels to guide therapy. Lithium, the most important overall uh, concept is that Lithium follows sodium, so anything that alters sodium in the body is going to alter lithium. Now, diuretic interactions with lithium uh, include the thiazide diuretics, which can increase lithium concentrations by 20 to 40 percent, and you probably need to adjust the dose down. You don't need to be afraid of it, but you need to adjust the dose down in anticipation of the change when you start the thiazide diuretic. The loop diuretics range from zero to 40%, and you may need to adjust the dose down, but you don't know, so I would assume worst case 40% decrease, and then retitrate the lithium back up after the patient's established on the loop diuretic.